All right, how's everybody doing with this crazy Chinese pandemic virus? Biological man-made China virus? Yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? It's just disgusting. All right, here we go. We're not talking about the virus today. We're going to talk about this Stevens uh, double-barrel 20-gauge shotgun. And it is a Model 5000. Actually, not a Model 5000. I'm sorry. It's a number 5000. They didn't do models until the, later on in the 40s. All right. This one has a really neat engraving. And as you can see, the Stevens uh, stamped in here on the receiver. And then it has an English setter uh, pointer on the side here engraved, which is really cool. Now, just to give you a little information on these, I had quite a few of these Stevens and Savage shotguns. They're very well built, American made, uh, especially the older ones, I mean. And then they just, they weren't like an English shotgun. They weren't perfected. They had a little imperfections here and there. But, boy, I'll tell you, when you snap, snap these together and, you know, you put your two shells in there, they just unbelievable close tight. It's like a lobster claw, you know? Just closes really, really tight. They're just great all-around hunting shotguns. There was quite a few made. This one here is a number 5,000. Now, I know quite a few of you people out there will argue about the number 5,000, but I'll just show you here. On this side here, there's the 5,000 right there. There's the J. Stevens Arms Company right and that's all there is on this shotgun except some uh, serial numbers which they did have back then so to predate this uh these came out from around 1923 to 1931 okay and then from 31 to 36 was the 5100 that was the number 5100 and then i believe the 530 came out in between after that and then the 311 after 41. I think it was 1941. The model uh, Stevens 311 uh, was invented so or made. And then that lasted up until about 1988, I believe. 1987, somewhere around there. But there's not too much information on this age of a Stevens shotgun. And the reason why, uh, I don't know if you, you know out there, but there was a fire... And all the records got lost in the fire. So this is just an estimate, which is pretty close to the ballpark where, where it was made or when it was made. And this has 28-inch barrels, okay, solid rib, has a middle, mid-length ivory sight, and a brass at the end of the barrel sight. But I, I don't know if that, that might have been changed. Maybe the original ivory sight fell off and then years and years ago uh, somebody put a new beaded sight on that's the only thing I could think of because when these were invented or when they were you know put on the market they were had the ivory sights beautiful beautiful shotgun 20 gauge okay I want to show you one thing here on the lever some people call it lever I call it lever or lever there is some case bluing left a little bit here and there but it's always pointed to the right on these Stevens. So if you get one that's pointed either to the left, like over here, or straight down, there's something wrong with it. This is the correct way that this lever is supposed to be pointed. So it's not broken or anything. And then, of course, just open it up. Now I want you to hear something. There's, the bores are super shiny and clean. I have to rush this video because I don't have much room on my phone. But listen to this. See how that just snaps into place. Solid, no movement. Just unbelievable. Little, little heavy, not too bad. This is about six and three quarter, uh, about six and a half, maybe a little more pounds. Being that it's a 20 gauge and then the 12 gauge was maybe another pound or a pound and a half. It does have beautiful walnut stock. Checkering, as you can see. Beautiful checkering. Two Traegers, 
and then a beautiful check ring forearm walnut just a gorgeous shotgun and this is an extremely rare one you don't see too many of these the ones you do see is uh, a couple here and there is the uh, geese there's an engraving of the geese but again this is a very rare one because it has the English setter and again uh, this is a number 5,000 just to give you some quick information I'm running out of uh, space in my phone here for this video so I'll finish it up all right just wanted to show you this one love this one I had quite a few Stevens 311 I loved them that was one of my main hunting rifles or shotguns I mean back in the late 70s early 80s a lot of pheasants a lot of rabbit and it's just an all-around all-american made beautiful tight extremely tight shotgun this one actually would be nice to get the case bluing redone just on the receiver all right well i hope you enjoyed it gotta go got a few seconds left on this before i used up all my space oh and it has the original butt pad 1917 patent there we go I know I'm going to run out of space here. All right. Take care.